Hi everyone and uh, welcome to What's Up Wednesday. My name is Vaughn Bend. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Aquaterra and I'm here today and privileged to talk about safety at Aquaterra. Uh, first I'll start off by saying that safety is a core value at Aquaterra. It's key in everything we do and it's very linked and in, in integral in kind of delivering our core mission which is helping grow healthy communities. Uh, we really are committed to health and the safety and well-being of not only our staff, but our communities that we operate in. It's a key component and a priority of ours. Uh, like I said, very important uh, in delivering on our mission. Uh, we commit and ask employees to commit as soon as they walk in the door. Uh, we ask them to commit to our core value of safety. And, and it's a dual commitment. We commit wholeheartedly and totally to making sure employees are safe at work. But we've also asked our employees to make the same level of commitment back to us. And to date, we found that that's an excellent, excellent way to make sure everyone's safe. Some of the things that we do to, to ensure that and to give everybody opportunity to get uh, engaged in safety and participate in our programs, we have joint health and safety committee meetings. And what that is, is that's members from across the corporation, both management and staff getting together and providing them a forum to discuss safety issues in real time and about real issues. And the goal there is to identify those issues and to rectify any issues around safety. We have daily team meetings. And regardless of the size of your team, you'll sit down daily and you'll talk about safety in the upcoming day's activities. What are the hazards in the workplace? How are we gonna make sure that we can keep people safe? We have monthly team meetings, and those are larger meetings, but that's an opportunity to get the whole team together in whatever facility or site you work at at Aquaterra and to talk about what's happened in the last month, what are the issues, what have we done about those, and then to talk about the future and how we can make safety better. So that's a very collaborative effort and something we find is very successful. We have health and safety audits. So we obviously are focused on it, but we find it's great to have uh, a new set of eyes on our program. So we have internal audits with our safety professionals. They go through on a fairly regular basis and look and see what are we doing and what can we do better? And that becomes part of an audit plan that we follow up on. We also have, and what I think is really important, is external safety audits. So we have people come in and look at our program that are external from us. They're arm's length, they're not employees. And what they do is they take a look at what are the best practices in the industry what are the best programs out there and how do we compare and how do we move to make sure that we're always progressing, always improving our safety program. And if there's any gaps, those go on an audit action plan and they're reviewed regularly with senior management. That's also a critical component of our core certification, which is an external certification that we meet a certain standard of safety in our operations at Aquaterra. It's always important to recognize people that are doing the right thing at the right time. So we have a very, uh, what I would call a robust program of recognition for good performance. So we do that in a number of different ways. We have the ability for individual employees to recognize each other with shout outs. Uh, we have the ability to, for management to recognize employees and fellow managers with uh, saying, you know what, you're doing a great job. Those actions and those recognitions get broadcast throughout the company. So people see what everyone's doing across the company and they see that we reward good performance. The little things we also do, we do safety barbecues where we get people together and we have a barbecue and there's nothing like sharing a meal and sitting, sitting down at a table and, and chatting about safety and, and recognize employees for, for really committing to safety, not only to their own, but to their colleagues and also to the community. Now, Things aren't normal these days, and everybody knows that. We're right in the middle of a pandemic, and as an essential service provider to the Grand Prairie region, we cannot allow our services to be interrupted. So because of that, we've had to take extra special and additional precautions to make sure, number one, our employees are safe, and number two, that we focus on our communities and the safety of the public and how we do our work and how we deliver our services. So some of the things that we've done, uh, this isn't an inclusive list, mine, just a sample of some of the things we've done to make sure that we can provide safe workplace for employees and, and provide our services safely, is we have safety protocols in place. So we 
now do extensive disinfection and cleaning protocols across all our sites. We have physical distancing and and or appropriate personal protection equipment in place for both our employees and, and making sure that we're reinteracting with the public, we make sure the, the situation, the environment is safe. We, in places where we do interact with the public, like our, like our account services, we have plexiglass barriers we've installed. And that's to make sure that both our employees and the public are safe. We are taking these precautions and many more to make sure that we can continue providing essential services to our customers in the Grand Prairie region. Absolutely critical. We cannot allow our services to be interrupted, but we will not compromise on safety. It has to be first and foremost in our minds and in our actions. And so we've taken these and other precautions to make sure that we can provide uh, these valuable essential services to the communities in which we operate. I want to take a moment just to really uh, shout out our staff. Uh, I want to thank them for our, their dedication and their professionalism. Uh, there's additional, obviously, requirements. Um, the, the fact of operating a pandemic has, has obviously increased their workload. They have risen to the occasion and more. Uh, uh, and I just wanted to thank them, a bit of a shout out to them. They're doing a fantastic job. If you're interested in more information on our safety, our protocols, or anything else about Aquaterra, please uh, visit our website, aquaterra.ca, or our Facebook page. Uh, or reach out to us uh, in other methods and means and we will get back to you. I also want to just take a moment here to thank all essential services workers and, it, and, and we're seeing people step up across society and across the community and across the Grand Prairie region uh, in, in difficult circumstances and I want to thank uh, those essential workers across the board uh, for all their great service and fantastic um, you know effectively heroes without capes during this pandemic. Again, thank you all. It's a privilege and a pleasure to be able to offer you these essential services. I want to wish you all and your families to have a great safe day and uh, please reach out, be kind, look out for each other and thank you very much.